Secretary Pryor, thanks so much for joining me. Um, we're talking Great to about be with you. yeah, thank you. We're talking about um, you know funding for small businesses. We're in that final push up to Christmas right now, and you know the end of the year with CARES Act money that also may still need to be spent before the end of 2020. So just wanted to catch up with you on um, you know what sort of funding opportunities are available for small businesses right now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we're very pleased with the fact that we we are uh, putting $125 million on the street for small businesses because they are struggling in our state and we, we need to help them. We're proud of the fact that uh, through the Restore Rhode Island program and the PAUSE grant program, two of our, our workhorse programs, uh, tens of millions of dollars are already getting out to businesses. And this is in advance of our neighboring states even cutting a single check. Um, they're gearing up to their credit, but uh, Rhode Island uh, started making payments to small businesses in recognition of the crisis in August. And uh, even now, uh, Massachusetts and Connecticut are still preparing to make their first round of payments to small businesses. So we're pleased that that's all happening. Uh, we uh, also are asking Rhode Islanders to shop local to help support our small businesses, we've partnered with shoplocalrhodeisland.com, which is a way to shop local, shop safe, shop digital, as you're doing your last minute holiday shopping. Um, and we've already had thousands of businesses um, uh, sign up and over 33,000 unique visitors to the site. And we wanna see more people shopping that way. I've done it. It's easy, you can click on a directory and find the local Rhode Island shop or business that you want to support and you can find fantastic gifts. Right, I've, I've checked that site out myself. Um, you know, I know that the pause ended on December 21st and, you know, restrictions are starting to be lifted as of the 21st. Um, that being said, you know, how can you say how many businesses applied to that pause grant program and how much went out from that program specifically? Yes, I can. Um, we've had 2,100 businesses apply and already 1,500 have received checks. Um, and that's in excess of $35 million worth of checks. That's on top of the uh, $42 million plus that's already gone out the door through our Restore program for small businesses. And in some instances, small businesses were able to get both. So we're very pleased that uh, Rhode Island small businesses have been able to receive relief for months that in our neighboring states is not even available yet. And then during this, uh, this pause period, there's been really swift payment uh, for many businesses. What other financial resources may be available for small businesses? There are, are also small business loans available from the state, not using federal resources, but from the state. So uh, there's an organization called Enhanced Capital that we negotiated with to set up a special fund just for COVID impacted businesses. There's a $20 million fund with $15 million set aside just for the COVID impacted businesses of Rhode Island. You can go to commerceri.com to get information on that loan program, which is new. It's only been established in the last few weeks. And we have longer standing small business loan programs through the Small Business Assistance Program look for that information on our website, especially look for enhanced capital, that brand new loan source. Anything with a time sensitive deadline, you know, we're at the end of the year, anything that's time sensitive for people to know? Uh, one thing to know is that for small businesses that have received grants through some of our programs, we have something called business adaptation that helps businesses that have truly had to change direction dramatically. If they've received those grants, uh, as it stands, the law requires expenditure in this calendar year. So please make sure that you are making your purchases of goods or receiving your services and getting invoiced in this year, meaning in this month. Um, and uh, for all businesses that have received funds through our programs, please try to make sure that you have your expenditures and you have your records to get that done. We're all trying to make sure we're in compliance with the federal law. So small businesses, spend the dollars on the things that you know you need right now.